Hi all folks, this is Max from GalaxyS2Root.com. So today I'm going to show you how to install a new ROM. Um, first of all, before you install a new ROM, it's going to erase all your apps and settings. So I highly recommend you to install Titanium Backup um, to back up all your apps. And if you, I'll have a link on a video on how to use Titanium Backup. Um, and also update um, your... Uh, go make sure you have ROM ROM manager installed and uh, update it to the latest version open it and make sure you flash the latest version of Clockwork Mod Recovery by choosing Samsung T-Mobile Galaxy S2 and also make a backup of your rooted uh, stock ROM because it's always a good idea that you can go back I'll have a link on how to make a backup too um, and once you've done those, then let's go copy over the file while this is going. Um, go download the ROM zip file. Usually it's in a zip format. Connect it as storage. You can download it straight to your phone, but I highly recommend using your computer because ROMs can be like 200 megabytes and it's so much faster on the computer. Um, so I'm going to go and copy over Eagle Blood SGH, um, this ROM, newest ROM. And actually, I'm, I'm doing that right now. Um, you can copy it over to your internal or your um, SD card, um, uh, external SD card. I'll give you a um, quick, quick. See, I'm copying over the the file to the ROM file to my SD card real quick, and that's almost done. And next, we're gonna use. Um, our clockwork uh, recovery to install the ROM and that's installed complete or copying over is complete so I'm gonna disconnect uh, I'm gonna go back to ROM manager to see if it flashed the, um, the file uh, I should I should have waited but it did flash um, as you can see current work current recovery clockwork mod recovery 5.0.2.6 next um, you can use these menus but sometimes it gets uh, oops gets a little bit iffy so I'll just show you how to do it manually which is pretty simple anyways and make sure you made a backup um, reboot into recovery say okay and uh, mm -hmm. so there's two backups you gotta make the ROM backup in clockwork my recovery which backs up your whole ROM app settings mm -hmm. and everything and titanium backup which uh, backs up your apps and also settings um, there's an option for that uh, but the important thing is the apps Anyway, here you can go to backup and restore and backup your whole ROM, which I recommend you to do, and also use Titanium Backup Manager. Um, because this ROM, when you restore it, it's going to restore the whole ROM. So when you put the new ROM, you want to use Titanium Backup um, to restore your apps. But if something goes wrong, then you can restore your whole ROM. Um, so that's why you need those two backups. And now we're going to do Wipe Data Factory Reset. Hit the power button. Say yes. Um, hit the power button. Let me zoom in so you can see better. And let me adjust the camera real quick. Um, there we go. Nah, nah, hold on. And next, what you want to do once it's uh, did the wipe wipe thing, install zip from SD card. Hit the power button. Um, choose zip from SD card or choose it from internal SD depending on where you, where you copied it over I think I did the internal um, and I did so I got the Eagles blood ROM that I copied over earlier whatever ROM it is choose it and hit the power button choose yes and hit the power button and this will start installing the new ROM with a bunch of custom messages the ROM developer put on there So. This one actually wipes your system and data, so I kind of, I didn't really have to wipe. It was going to do it anyways. Um, so this should take like five minutes, and I'll be back when this is done. So it is done. I didn't get any error. It says uh, install is successful. So go back and hit the power button. Reboot system now. Hit the power button. And we should have a new ROM installed. Mm -hmm. And by the way, don't install ROMs for made for Galaxy S2. That's for the original international version, which is different from T-Mobile. The T-Mobile one uses 
a uh, different processor. It uses the Qualcomm S3 1.5 GHz dual core, which makes this file system slightly different um, from the other Galaxy S2s, which use Samsung Zynos uh, 1.2 GHz. Um, they're pretty much different processors and the file system is different. So I don't want you to brick your phone. So only flash ROMs that clearly state for T-Mobile Galaxy S2, um, not for AT&T or whatever. I, I had uh, this guy who flashed a AT&T um, ROM on a Epic 4G Touch for Sprint. Um, luckily that their file system is nearly identical, so he was able to recover it. Um, but I think you might be able to break your phone if you try to flash an AT&T or a Sprint or any other um, Galaxy S2 ROM for the T-Mobile because the T-Mobile version is different. T-Mobile uses 1700 megahertz um, for voice frequency versus 1900 megahertz which is on AT&T and that's another thing different. So there's so many differences. Um, oh, so the ROM loaded up. If it uh, loaded up fine, you're good to go. Otherwise, if for some reason you get stuck in a boot loop or something, you can always um, Restore in Clockwork Modern Recovery. That's why you made the backup in case something goes wrong. Cause uh, okay, I did. Okay. Um, let's try TW Launcher. Yeah, it's just booting up and it's all going crazy. But I got it boot up. Um, so I'm getting data and edge. Um, because I'm in my basement, I don't get that much great signals. Um, so let me go check that I have a new ROM. You can always go to about phone. So I have Eagle Blood 1.0 ROM. I'll have a ROM review of this also. And it comes with two launchers. Let me check out. Okay. Well, you can always just set it as default. TW Launcher is the TouchWiz launcher, which I prefer anyways. Anyway, that was how to install a new ROM on a T-Mobile Galaxy S2. Um, it should be similar for other Galaxy S2, but I just made this um, just for T-Mobile users because uh, I want you to update your Clockwork Mod Recovery to the latest one. And then, um, so that's it. Check out more tips at Galaxy S2. Thanks, y'all.